literally just went to start recording to stand outside Bulgaria Hotel and say no for the part of a vlog but instead I bumped into someone I knew which was absolutely great and uh, he's a, someone from traveling and uh, he's also off to Istanbul but he's going to Istanbul tomorrow so there's a possibility we might bump into each other again in Istanbul which is pretty cool no it's not the guy from Varna but what is up guys my name is of course Oliver and welcome back to the Oliver Coos YouTube channel and Oliver put his, uh, took his hat and put his business brain on last night. Yeah, after that scene that you saw at the end with the bench, I got a thought. Why don't I use this no money challenge to my advantage? And by advantage, I mean promotion. Ooh, fishy, 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 fishies. Burgas bus station, couldn't remember the name of it just then, was where I started this morning. Let me explain. I turned up at Burgas bus station with ambitions to promote a company, a bus company to be precise. So I went in. So I went in, promoted my uh, YouTube, and they felt sorry for me. So I've uh, got a ticket to uh, Istanbul. And they couldn't give me one for the buses in the day, no, they had to give me the uh, empty bus. They said empty, I think, it's the night bus. Cool, so I've got half eleven, I'm leaving Burgas, and if there's one thing you haven't realised, where's, where's my bag? Well, that's another question. Don't worry, it didn't get stolen. No, I put my brain cap on and I thought, well, who can I contact to help me out just until my bus is here? And then I thought, well, a hostel might be able to let me just sit down, do some video editing, and then leave later on. And, um, well, that's exactly what I've been able to sustain for free. Okay, suddenly dark now. Yeah, I've been spending the afternoon, well, I spent the morning um, at the bus station, been able to get a bus ticket, and then I spent the afternoon editing yesterday's video. If I can get this one up for the next day, then yeah, yesterday's video, creating the thumbnail, rendering it. It's just been uploaded. Uh, I've just been sitting in that, literally, in the hostel, been upstairs, sitting on the table, sitting on the table, on the chair you, by the table. Just doing my stuff now. I've let my laptop to another guy up there just so we can check Facebook because I don't mind doing that. I'd just like to say thank you so much for all the support I've received on this mini series on the Oliver Coos YouTube channel. I know I've got a lot of criticism on it, but a lot of it has been good. And tomorrow is the official end date, unfortunately, as tomorrow is the end of Kiev to Istanbul with no money because we will be in Istanbul at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning which is very unfortunate, but I will be crossing into Asia at some point. I think the airport that I'm flying back from to Gatwick Airport on Monday is um, on the other side of the river, which theoretically is Asia. So that would be cool to visit Asia for a day. Yes, yeah, so what, tomorrow's Saturday, so I've got Saturday night and Sunday night in Istanbul, which I'm very, very excited because I get to explore a new city. This camera never does its justice. The nightlife looks absolutely amazing in Burgas. Oh, and before I forget, from the bottom of my 19-year-old heart, from currently in Burgas, Bulgaria, I'd like to say thank you so much to everybody who has donated whilst on this series because you guys have actually been able to fund my flight home, which I'm absolutely astounded. I'm amazed. I'm so grateful. I thought that uh, I would end up having to fly to Dalaman on Sunday and then Dalaman 
to Bristol and then make my way back from Bristol, 200 miles along the coast. But I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. I'm flying directly to Gatwick. It's the closest airport to the area I'm from, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm getting picked up from the airport. Very, very happy about that. And I have to thank you guys for it. Thank you so much. Another new bit of the city discovered. Because you don't discover a new place without walking. But I've already walked in every other direction, not this one. I'm trying to get as much exercise in before I'm stuck on a bus again for six and a half, seven hours, which is great. Well, border patrol pending. Luckily, I've already got my visa. I'm very proud about that. And uh, I would love to absolutely do this trip again, 100%. Bring some money, stay in hostels or hotels or whatever, do it with subscribers, actually travel, explore, do the very touristy things to the very localness kinds of things. Because, once again, every place I've been to is absolutely spectacular. Bulgaria, I've never felt safer. People say you've got to be cautious, but I've genuinely never felt safer. I feel safer here than I do in Brighton, in England. It's... I don't know, I just... I don't know, I just feel safer. And even in the Ukraine, I felt safer as well. Yeah, you know, I never... I, you know, I didn't really ever feel out of place in Eastern Europe at all. It's just been another small adventure, but I mean... It's been one heck of an amazing adventure. And travel's not even over for this year. It's November and travel's not over yet. I just wanted to sit down here and talk to you guys for a couple of minutes. Travelling on no money, not even just travelling on no money, but travelling in general has broadened my mind. Well, not in the sense you'd think. It's made me understand how other countries are living. And it's trying to make me understand the economy, which, out of everything, is a difficult subject. Is that a mark on my camera? It is as well. Now, economies in these countries aren't great. Hence why it's so cheap to live in these countries. But that's not the point. You see, not only do I now want to travel a lot more than I have been, and this year has been a kind of a year of travel for me. I've traveled the whole of the United Kingdom. I recorded some videos and didn't upload them. Someone told me to go to Scotland for haggis and I actually did that and I have that on a video which I just haven't edited or uploaded. But I've I've almost gone to England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. I just haven't gone to Ireland this year. But it's not even about the travel. It's about my business and focused mind because living so cheaply out here for anyone, it's... I've heard by my mum that you say you make your money in England and you live elsewhere. Why not live elsewhere? Why not go back to England next year, make a load of money and live somewhere else? Why not travel and live in a place like this? Why not travel and live in the Ukraine? Why not travel and live anywhere I want to? Because I've got nothing holding me back at the moment. But if I can make a business or if I can offer a service to people that I can do it remotely, like a digital nomad, then that's where I'm onto a winner. Because it means I can travel as much as I want to. We can record videos exploring the world and I can also be working on the way to fund the next adventure. Or do we just go full out, start a business in another country, move there, and try and make the economy a lot better producing something that I've got in my head because I've got a lot of business ideas I've done a let's talk business in the past but I've always got business minded things and you know this is giving me a lot of ideas knowing that you can do things on no money has also helped as well and I can't wait to explore what I've got packed up in here. Thank you so much. Hostel, thank you so much. 
for letting me sit here and be a nuisance editing and gaming. <laughs> it's now time to get my bus. Yes, it's half ten at night now. I haven't really done much recording today, but I mean, we got a bus right ahead. <laughs> Let's go. Have a good evening. Thanks, good to right. Bye. An actual bus ticket and my passport to hand as we head to the bus station, which is there, literally at the end of this road. Which is great, and I, if I remember correctly, it's platform. Yes, platform. I know the train station is right next to it, but we're going to Istanbul for platform, bus platform number two. So let's see if the bus is there already. It's probably not because it's 22 11 and I leave at half 11. They said get there for 11, but I thought I might as well be precautious. Plus, I'll probably outstay my welcome at that hostel anyway. Train station. Bus station. Bus stop there. Bus stop two, they said. A Eleven, they said. There's no bus here. It's like, it's for half eleven, they said get here for eleven. Assuming, you know, half an hour to get on it. I'm gonna read the time and actually check if this is the correct stop. Give me a sec. It says international bus lines. So, international, assuming Turkey. That should be correct, right? Where is it? Where's the bus? <gasps> Where is it? I don't have a clue. Turns out there's more than one bus company at, like, that's an Istanbul bus leaving now, but that's not my Istanbul bus. It turns out there's more than one bus with different companies at the exact same time going to Istanbul. There's a metro bus and Ivercon or something, and then there's another one, like, Spol or something so they'll all turn up here apparently at half 11 but I got told to be here at 11 so I'm a little annoyed but I mean at least I get some fresh air at a bus station which is empty yeah I should have just got the train half past 11 now genuinely worried where my bus is it's meant to be stop two it's not here there is a bus parked right there, if you can see it. Could be to do with mine, I don't know. I'm just like, I've been sitting here almost an hour, and I'd rather just get on the bus. <laughs> Burgas, Istanbul, today's date, 23.30, seat 23. Currently, 23.35. It may only be five minutes, but that means longer on the bus. Like, it could be stuck in traffic or something. That's fair enough. It's Bulgaria. Anything can happen. It's just playing on my mind. I'm just saying. I just, you know, stick to the schedule. I'm here. I got here early. 15 bloody minutes, about bloody time, pulling into the wrong bus stop. Is that even my bus? I don't know. Uh, Istanbul? Uh, on... the border, passport back. Genuinely hope I'm not offending anyone, but we just did customs. And I went through fine. But I'm the only English person here. And I'm the tallest motherfucker on this bus. I'm five for eight. The Turkish people just normally small or 
I'm, I'm a little confused. Still in Turkey. We don't know where we are. Um, She yelling for lay back, it's all been done before. And if you could only let it be, you would see. I like you the way you are when we're driving in your car and you're talking to me one on one. But you become somebody else, grab everyone else. You're watching your back, like you can't relax. You